But, all right. We're going to... So, the game, I, I mean, I guess you could do a very long playthrough of, like, um, many, many hours. But also, it seems like the game can be contained in, like, five or six. Anyways, summary... exclamation point lord in the chat and you can buy some real estate in ireland today for the small price of liking so i mean uh i will name the fucking town after you or some shit there's something like there's something something more important than money which is prestige okay and and you can be the proud owner. Of a hovel and some dozens of peasants. And who hasn't wanted that in their life at some point? So. I'm actually going to um make my own logo so you can make your own logo like even though there's actually quite a detailed scheme here um mm -hmm. we let me so i gotta i gotta upload the template real quick which takes a moment but make sure but where's my lording music when i'm alt tabbed i want to apologize for my saltiness um it is honest i'm just being honest bro i was salty and i still am um and i'll probably do it again but it is disappointing every time so All right. Mm -hmm. I'm uploading a logo. I've got an idea here. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. Just got it. Which one looks like me? Dun, dun, dun. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Edit your logo with the coat of arm shield. Okay, so it's got to fit in inside. Exclamation point lord, by the way. That's the one. I'm just going to make sure I put everything in the right spot. Manor lords. gotta photoshop it as you know i'm a aficionado not really a complicated process i just all right Bring it up. It's logo time. I don't know why this is that. I've got some ideas here. Like the fill tool working. Whatever. Alright. 
We can design our own. What is wrong with you? You see, it's a bespoke design. Oh my god. You stupid idiot. Just... If you keep... Uh, all right. That took a lot longer than it should have. Anyways. Let's test it. Let's see if it works first. I want to know. Oh, I gotta restart the game. This is where the real game is played. Intimidating. The enemies. Custom coat. You know how expensive it is to get a custom coat? In this day and age? You'd think in 1337. You could get your own custom coat, but no. I fuck it up. Spell it right. Oh, I saved it as a JPEG, not a PNG. Classic. I don't want to know what a JPEG is. I just want a picture of a goddamn zergling. Almost there, I believe. It's worth it. Let's see if it'll load yet. I think I have to restart the game one more time. But it'll be worth it. This is the run. With this, it'll fill me with determination.
Hmm. Well, it's fucked. We'll try it next time. I have no I have no faith in the success of this settlement now. Without my custom Was I booted for saying you look tired? Was I booted? No, I said the stream was ending and I was playing Manor Lords and it was gonna restart. It was just that really capped off the stream on a fun note. But thank you for your observational skills. I know to trust them now. All right. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to Manor Lords. Where you and Dits. All right. Well, we got to... Uh, I'm just going to keep... Uh, this is the way to randomize. Wait. Does it not re-random the name each time? My, my random name is Dits. Ah, yes, it's... Jim! Jimmy. Jimmy. Your lord and savior. What the? Ah, yes. I love the red. So many colors. Let's see. Ah, yes. The Cracker Barrel. I don't like, I'm not huge on the red as a, a choice necessarily because, well, actually, no, the opponent is yellow as their uh, team color, such as it is. So, you know what? We can do Jimmy of the Cracker Barrel. There it is. New design. So, I've been doing the, uh, there's Rise to Prosperity, which is passive. There is, it, it's just the city builder. There's Restoring the Peace, which is not, it, it, it's mixed. Like, there is combat, there are bandits. I haven't, I want to do, I want to actually win this one before I do On the Edge, which is constant bandits and uh, Hello. mean people. It's about to And default difficulties. Thank you, Fluffy Kid. By the grace and wisdom of Jemmy, do we flourish? And yeah, the, the scenarios are pretty limited at the moment. It is early access for the single dev. Or at least at least there's one main dev. This game is developed by effectively one person, to my understanding, which is not very many people. And the reason your you're able to see it here rewarded. is because is they gave streamers early disaster. access to show it off. Um, thank you to Hooded Horse for that. Da do I think they maybe gave it to us streamer nerds a little early compared to the release, which is like April 26th? Also, yes. So <laughs> I think uh, maybe wait till like, a, like less than a week or a week before. But still... Um, I'm not going to complain. I like the game a lot. Um, I fully recommend it. Even, like, up to, like, $40 on release. That's where I'm at right now. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I rebind my, uh, the mouse, side mouse buttons to the mouse zoom stuff. Because they don't have any controls in-game. 
I like using the side buttons to do like the camera changes as opposed to like like this camera rotation. Welcome, by the way, to the great land of it. What the heck? what in the medieval fuck? In Swiss Swiss. <laughs> in <laughs> somehow. In Swiceonston. Yeah, it's 1440p on YouTube. Uh, Twitch doesn't have the internet tubes for that, so. Yes. Build up your town, press your claims. Let's take a look at the resources. Oh, look at all that food back there. A pretty linear layout. Am I in the corner? Oh. I. Your name is too long, and it's messing up the map. It looks like Hildebot von um, Bitch Head um, is, has taken these other ones as well. But we got to compete over the resources. So my rich resources are the clay over here. It gives you a bonus. Stone's pretty far out. Trade point. Work in progress. But I do have food and bear, like, meat and berries. A nice little homestead. And also, just before we get started. All right. So, food, shelter, money. Um, no. Well, water is kind of easy enough. So we should actually bring these overlays up. Underground water can bring the put the well on any of that. Fertility. Looks like we're gonna be pretty fine to farm wherever. So we have the berries there. We're gonna chop down this wood area. We'll build out from here. And where was the underground water? I can start with the roads. The roads are free. Like, you can just build the roads. Which, uh, everything moves faster on a road. So... Let's go ahead. I like, if possible, following the contour lines. You can't really do that here, but... I like, you can make them more curvy, if you like. And every point, like, you uh, put them is going to be another, uh, like, curve, like a bend in the road. Let's see. Let's try to follow the contour lines a bit. And I can always just delete it. So, let's see. Back there, we're gonna want some. Towards the berries. Without, ideally, uh... And, and it won't go over the trees. It actually just kind of... I don't love it. I don't love it. The roads don't have to connect. They'll walk off the roads for a sec. It feels very natural. Very impressed by it. Like, you don't have to snap to anything. And then we'll split off for a hunting path here. And I haven't yet decided 
where we're going to put uh, the houses, like the first row. This game looks so cozy. The music is actually incredible. And as you scale up, it gets more in, like, more uh, excited. Which is quite impressive. I don't know who did the music, but... Okay. I'm gonna just, just do one more, like, Main Street sort of area. I think it's probably gonna be... Eh. I've learned not to build too many roads too early, because you can't build roads over the supplies, which are just sitting on the ground now can you, when you start out. We're gonna get... a logging camp. And... Let's see, what else? I'm just going through all the buildings. We got Woodcutter's Lodge for firewood. Saw pit for planks. And so a little later on, Forester's Hut. Uh, Forager Hut. How much food? And fuel. We don't, I mean, we're gonna need fuel pretty early, but I'm making sure we get these things because I always forget. Granary for protecting the foods, the storehouse, everything you have to go to the location. You gotta pull it out and put it in the warehouse, whatever. All that. So, much like against the storm, anyone unassigned is a builder slash, like, hauler. And then assigned is you put them in specific buildings to do specific things. I'm actually, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm debating, mm, do I need another ox? If you manage your production well, I don't think you need two oxes right off the bat. So, I'm going to try to limit it to building one to two things at a time. Otherwise, it just gets out of hand. So. And you can relocate most of these, you see here, freely relocation. But it's not like against the storm. You do have to rebuild it. So I don't know if it's faster, but like it doesn't cost resources again. So at least there's that. All right. Let me get him working on that. I want just to start building up the timber because I need that for the houses. I, I usually have been defaulting to times four speed. There's... There's no, like real time, times four and times 12. I usually default to the times four. Except when I'm enjoying, except like when I'm fighting or making medium decisions, in which case just real time. All right, so E key is the hot key for uh Adding a worker. Gonna get these guys done over here. Where's the rest of the resources? Out there. Alright. While they're building that, I'm gonna build Main Street. Once again, where is that? Um, nice. Okay. So I can build like a well over here. We got this camp. Gonna build just some houses here. And then, how much of a backyard do I wanna give them? So the backyard can add essentially like a shed in your backyard for hobbyists. It's like a chicken coop or something. Um,. There, is, there are some farm-based ones, like the vegetable garden. Maybe we'll try the apple orchard, but... Not yet. Staying in the habit of only one building at a time right now. Ah, yes. I, I've heard. Oh, I only seek to defend my rights and my honor. Signed and sealed by my own seal. Bold move, Hildebolt. I'm gonna go ahead and not talk to him. What start is this? 
It is uh, middle everything. It's like the second, it's the restoring the peace and default difficulties. I'm gonna designate a bit of market area. Maybe I put it in the middle of, eh. I kind of wanted to move the, the homeless, like this area, but maybe we'll just do a bit of a market area here. You can, so I learned you can move the market stalls for free, which is kind of a huge deal. Because before, yeah, we'll just make this the market. There you go. Because before, like, I thought you'd have to, like, delete the entire market, but you can just move the market over if you want to put a new zone. All right. Let's get a storehouse. How much uh, timber do I have now? Eh, we're gonna get. Where's that well? Let's just remove this road. And there you go. Did I remove the road all the way down? That happens sometimes. Beautiful. I'm gonna move the, um, dogging camp already. We'll use the six timber here on houses so that it'll, uh, finish moving it. This should be three more, right? I just, there's six timber on the ground. Got to be a little careful on overextending the labor. Is it more diplomacy heavy? Well, it really depends on how big your militia is. And how many mercenaries you can hire. What kind of diplomacy you can engage in. Gotta go get those berries. But they'll, so berries will continue growing throughout. Um, yeah, spring is regrowing deposits. Summer is, I don't think they grow, but they won't deteriorate. And then pretty much until winter, you're fine. That's what I always tell myself. And then I show up. Can you set up trade routes? You can set up trade routes with, well, it's currently like an off-map village or your own, if you have multiple. Because uh, you can build them in each zone and they're each kind of like their own little settlement, so. I haven't really done, I've only made it to one settlement so far. We're gonna let him finish this over here first. I'm really trying to limit. Much like against the storm, I don't want to do like seven things at once. But I've, I've mostly been working off the against the storm principles and it's mostly been going okay. Now, big mistake. I When you move the camps, they you have to reassign the workers because it's not like that isn't like against the storm the workers are removed from the camp they tear it down move it over but they're not automatically reassigned also my favorite thing is not my stocks getting soaked but besides walk here yes great job everyone the lighting on the puddles Good day, good day. 
Look at our bustling market. Full of thriving entrepreneurs. All we just need is the Lord to actually have like a weapon or something and participate in battles and then we're Banner Lord here. Why are you awakened? You never get to see his face because he always goes towards the camera. Sometimes you can get him to whip around though. I'm on pretty much all ultra graphics, but apparently recommended or um, like minimum specs are only like a 1060. So it's not going to look the same, but that's still pretty impressive. And I think recommended is only like a 2080, so it's not really stressing my PC at all. I mean... Maybe later on when you get everything, but I, I've i gotten to decent size and hasn't had any issues on Ultra. Thank you, Trekker and Abyss of Time. Where are my workers committed right now? Logging commit... I'm down to one set of builders, which is not enough. Do I have enough fuel? Yeah, we're gonna pull one off of firewood in order to get more uh, hauling going. Because I need to build more homes. You need enough homes, more than the amount of families you have. Well, one, people don't like being homeless. Um, and two... New people won't move in if there's no homes. I do wish you could just, like, plan it out. Though, the fact I don't have four timber, like, that's nothing. Can you construct multi-story buildings? I don't know. Did we have the... You can build your own cat... Your manor that you lord over has, like, towers and larger stuff. But that's about it. The only person who gets a fancy building is you, me lord. Probably should have a granary at least. It's your second? I think this is about my third, but... I did default of the second scenario, which is you have an opponent and there is combat, but it isn't constant. More realistic. Occasionally you quarrel over some lands with the nearby Baron. In Switzerland ton now increased we got a development point but I don't even have a trade post yet so I'm not quite ready for it we're gonna get the granary Slap it down. 
We're almost finished with the uh, final house there. Because most of the food is, is out this way, so not that it matters too much. Pretty soon we might have to invest in a, uh, another ox. I think I want to put it there, but we got to move some of this stuff first. I know there's the forester's hut, but I'd rather not use it yet. Those supplies. Ah, fine. Whatever. I don't need, so... Uh, what I think is happening is if you put someone in these, like the granary or the storehouse, they will go grab stuff for it. But otherwise, people will like bring, for example, this family, Herman, Conrad, and Katharina. Herman's out there gathering berries. Uh, Conrad is, ga is bringing those berries over to the stall. At the market, where one of them occasionally peddles them to the other villies. So, it isn't just one person, it's a family that focuses on the job. So, that just having one there does still mean you can cover most things. I'm gonna drop one from... Um... That log storage and all that. We're gonna get another hitching post. And order a new ox. Momentarily. Oh, yeah, yeah. A strong militia. We formed the militia. Let's hope we don't need it. And how much is the trading post? Only four. Mm. Are those trees in the way? Well, I can't tell if... Well, I'm just going to slap it and see. Yeah, it'll just destroy the trees, but... Yeah, yeah. Not too bad, though. Now I gotta wait till they finish building here. Before I add more. Stay on target. Running out of fuel, well that would be because I uh, forgot to have anyone collecting firewood. We'll put two on it. Is it more like AoE or like Settlers New Allies? Uh, like against the storm in total war. Hitching post doesn't come with an ox, right? Right. Still have to pay for it. Berries, berries, bursting with flavor. Tricky. We've got plenty now of timber. Oh, 
working on a few more houses. I'm gonna bring a second ox. We're gonna need, uh... We'll see how many billies are needed. Do I have enough food? I have plenty of food. We're working on the firewood here. New village should be moving in soon. Ideally, we have another flavor of food, which includes the hunting cabin, but it's so far out. As most hunting cabins are. Still probably gonna put it over there, but... We'll get the sawmill. I do wonder if the sawmill is better off close to the storehouse or close to where the logging is happening. Let's go, Let's go and put it over there. Come on, buddy. Come on. What other resources? Oh yeah, they're pretty far out as well. I'm gonna drop uh, one from the firewood because now the issue is travel time. <laughs> How much food? It's only May. So, where do I want to be gathering the woods? I'm probably just gonna move over here with the. Uh, Lumber momentarily. Because I, I wanted to clear this area out for development. Is the key. That's what we're doing. New family. More work. Did we get another ox? Hey, here we are. Wait. Is that the first one? There should be two oxes on the field now. There you are. Oxen. For whoever's going to correct me. Are we still building houses over there? Yep. So, how about the forager hut? 50% done. Oh yeah, we got a haul all the way down there. That's why. We're going to relocate this to, uh, I got to be careful not, yeah, it's still very far away from the berries, so it's fine. There's still a bunch of timber down there, but. Looks like we're good to go for the construction. And then they're rebuilding the lumber hut. No saving finished right as I was uh doing a dramatic sum out threw it off Are we done with the uh hunting cabin? 
we follow the road, we should be able to find the cabin in the woods. Eventually. If you look over there... I conveniently place deers. I wonder if I can make them migrate more towards me. I haven't tried that yet. So I'll pick done. We're gonna put one in. I'm gonna have ten. I've made this mistake. So you can reserve a certain amount. <gasps> they stole my berries! So, you can reserve an amount so that way you can construct with that without, um, overdoing it. I'm debating adding one more, but I don't want to have less than two on construction. Don't forget to check the level of the foundation. So you can also... Yeah, convert berries into dyes. It's another basic industry move. And I can sell those via trade, I think. What is that, a commodity? Or, uh, material? Yeah, it usually goes for like four, so. I can establish it for 18. Oh, wait, no, that's berries. How about die? 24. Alright, the berries will stop growing. Soon. Gathering as many as we can. I'm actually gonna add one more. Hunting cabin's done. Hmm. I've got five planks. We're gonna pull one here for construction. Wait, what am I even constructing at this stage? It's mostly hauling. I need to put one. How many, uh... We'll do 12. <sighs> we still have one hauler. Eight homesteads. I wonder if I can pick a specific family. Because, like, you can... You can add a, uh... A working family to it, but that doesn't necessarily... Where, where is it? Where are you dragging the wood? Why are you dragging it to the log storage, not to the storehouse? Okay, wait a second. Why is that the priority? Does timber not go? Huh. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. Timber doesn't go in the storehouse. Yeah, there's no space. <laughs> hmm. So having a logging camp just for storage. Okay, wait a second. I'm going to build another logging camp and just have it. Like, just for a storage pit. I don't know. Uh, that takes up a lot of space. Because I want to move the other ones eventually. Let's see if that works. Interesting one. Is there a place to saw the planks? Um, the saw pit. We have 
five blanks right now. So this is just the surplus of stuff I have at the moment. The stuff that's not being used in construction or other stuff. You can also just set it to total. If you'd like. The surplus one makes a lot of sense though. I do like that option. Sure. Double house. It's a little bit awkward because I am going to move the logging pit, but... Is the dyer's workshop? Yep. What is dye for? What can that be used for? Let's see. I don't know if it's like for fancy clothes. Because, uh, wool and yarn. Or is it just a trade good? It seems like just a trade good to start. Yeah, it's, um, a tannery. Alright, so we're gonna set up our first trade. Which will be the dye trade. First, let me see if I wanna... Okay. Doubles capacity of all berries, but establishing a new trade route is extra cheap. <sighs> so... I feel like this is just too good not to take, like, all the trade stuff. There's not that many options for, for stuff at the moment, but, um, yeah. Wait, deep mine. Extract resources indefinitely over a rich deposit. I didn't see that one before. Pelt extraction. There's uh, all these resource cultivation, but the trade. So what we're going to do. You plan on trying out the hard difficulties? I want to win on the, um, uh, the, uh, methodical difficulties first the this one this different i see no use for the die we're gonna export it i'm gonna put my desired surplus at zero which means sell it all give me the money which i can then use for like more oxes and stuff so can i set the log storage to be lower i don't pantry is full at the forager hut All right, where are all my workers? We need them to continue. Is the granary full? No, then why? All right, so 20 timber, five stone. We have plenty of houses. Logging camp's done. Hopefully, like the intent is this is now used as a storage. But I see this. Do you see this? Storage is full at Woodcutter's Lodge. Generic storage. So, the storehouse... Does it require... Is it disconnected from the road network? Is that why they're not going there? Because I didn't put a tiny little road piece? Could it be? I thought that wasn't relevant. But now, as soon as I did it, now there's firewood in there. So... Hmm. Networking issues. Okay, and now we're gonna try to game this by demolishing the logging camp. Will they just leave it on the ground? I wanna see. We're gonna follow the life of... Conrad here. So we'll pick this up. Come on, laddie. And Come on. it's a process, <laughs> but it, it's working. All right, and now we're gonna go. 
back to the saw pit, which is now next to the logging camp. So how will I solve the problem? I don't think you can prioritize certain logging camps is the only issue here. The prevailing one. Like, you can't be like, this is the logging camp that you need to be using. Because I want this to be my, like, log storage. But there's only 28 space. Whereas, for some reason, the storehouse can't hold timber. Is that... That feels wrong. But, okay. I'd like to maybe have, like, like a RimWorld, you know, stockpile zone. Where it's just, like, dump it all over there. All right, just to throw it on the ground. That's where you put all the, just, just you know, like like a marketplace except for just throwing all your shit down. I gotta... Pantry is full. Excess food needs to be moved. Well, we're working on it. I'm gonna put someone in the granary. Fresh meat. Get your fresh meat here. Is there no one? Oh, I need two to be guiding oxen. They stole 15 berries! Um... I feel like there should be like a production limit, like against the storm on this. As well. We're gonna unassign one family. We're gonna need... Well, I'm working on the construction. How is the trade going? Did I not set up a trade? I swear I did. The dye trade. We're exporting. Can I see the merchant? Pretty sure I don't need to... Ah, fuck. I need more villies. I think I need someone to move the dye from the storehouse into the trading post. That's the problem. That's why. No storage left for production. Oh my god. We just don't have enough villies to haul shit around. I can't build here because I have all this bullshit. Wait, can I? Oh. No. Gets upset. It's like 28 logs there, so. We'll just build over here to start, and then we'll fill that in. We can just use that timber while we're there. Probably should, eh? Just move the logs. Oh, yeah. So, how do I do that? By having Cunrad over here and his ox, which apparently we named as well. One by one. One does not simply just... Like, you gotta move the logs and they're very heavy. Just move the logs. All right. Just move the log. Okay. One does not simply move logs. <laughs> Permanent fixtures. Well, actually they're using them to build the houses, but why not? You know, why don't we just use them as like a parallel? What is that noise? A bandit camp. Near my lands? No, about as far away as they ever could be.
a church, which I'd have to build and requires 20 planks, which we're getting there. Wait, am I at the saw pit? Yeah. I have 154, um... Resources. No. So we're gonna add some chicken coops. Look at all these chickens! Because then we'll have eggs, which will contribute to our food variety. And people like eating things that aren't just berries. Believe it or not. They're like, let's spice it up with some eggs. And that's the excitement in their lives. So, uh... I think that's enough dying for now. As, uh, I want to have food for the winter. The berries are harvested so you can feed the family. Oh yeah, could add an herb garden, but I don't think we're there yet. I need the labor. Back to logging with one. The firewood, we have the storage. We just need... I think we need to have a family there to move it from the storage. Unless I have someone in the storehouse for that exp... You know what? Let's take a look at what they do. I want to see. I, I moved a family into the storehouse specifically, so... What are they doing? Just stay. Tab. Picking shit up. Got the wheelbarrow upgrade. Oh yeah, put it put it in the thingy. Card is nowhere near full. Look at those arms. You think you can carry more than that? He's no ox. Ah, I get it now. The reason the storehouse doesn't sell is the logs. It would require an ox. Is why it doesn't have the uh, the logs. Makes sense. What's the chicken situation? Looking good. We got cash money here. Can I get a church yet? How many planks? We're at 15 planks. And now clothing. Which in this case is just going to be hides. <clears throat> oh, so the oxes are also needed to bring the timber back to the logging camp, which makes sense. So they cut down the trees, but the oxes have to come by and get the trees. So that way they can use them to mill into a tannery here. Where did- bring that back! Bring that log back! Jebediah! I'm sorry, Friedline? Fri Friedling? This is... Thoman. Dorothea? Cunts. Alright, I didn't name him. As he's known. Barbara! Ah, uh, yes. Ill tidings for his future. Ah, oh, yes, the beautiful tannery. Do I have hides? Yes. I need to pull one worker out of somewhere, though. I think we're gonna pull the granary. What are you guys doing? Guiding an ox. Oh, when they don't have anything to do, they guide the ox. And we're gonna pull one from the granary. Kind of wish you could just drag and drop like against the storm, but no, not logging camp. Um, is that gonna be that same family? Peter, your Ganels. Yeah. How go with it? 
Hmm. Ah, the classic bucket into bucket method. Great job, Barbara. Well done. Cheerio. When, when do we get child labor laws? We already have them. The law is that the childs must uh, participate in the labor for the good of the town. Hmm. Mm. I see you're getting your hands wet. I'd ask to shake your hand, but no one will ever want to touch you again. Hey, you, Macantor. All right. How goes the the logging? Pre pretty good. That's good. Good. Great job, everyone. Are you guys just chilling? Wait, does nobody work here? I'm just going a little, uh... Yep. I'm, uh, great job. I'm just gonna take a nap. You guys don't mind? Hello? Surprise! It's your lord! Hmm. Undercover boss. <sighs> yeah, they, they can never tell I'm there by my flamboyant red cape. Stealth. Do we have the planks yet? I think so. Is that enough for the church? Yes. Praise be. Mm -mm. I don't know if they actually have to physically go to the church at some point. But, uh, sure. Why not? Why not? There we are. I'll get there. We have two builders. How are the chickens? Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Wait, can we sell some hides, maybe? Do we not have a clothing stall yet? Do I have another dev point? No, not yet. I need level two houses. But I think I should be... I need the church, and then I need clothing, and then we'll hit. And then we can get level two houses. Food stall, firewood. Okay, what kind of stall is that? Clothing stall? We've done it! All right. Ah, the most beautiful leathers. Gotta get all the planks from the storehouse. Whole team. Over here. 
Gunrad, get out of the wall. Oh. <laughs> oh no. And we've done it. Great job, everybody. It is complete. And let's see, do we have all the needs? Well, momentarily, we should be filling in. Yes. All right, we can do level two houses now. And how many do I need? I just need two. Yes. Can I add another backyard extension or should I have waited? I'm pretty sure you can get, once you have level two, um, you can do the more advanced ones, but I've already got a chicken coop. I guess you could probably replace it, but I spent good money on those chickens, so. Everybody moving along at a glacial pace here, but to be expected. What do we got? We got 10 families. <clears throat> I wonder at what point you can get enough chickens to support the entire... I'm not going to rely on it, but... It's possible. Probably need a forester soon. All these stones. What is the fastest way? Do the full... Can you explain how this game works? You build your town by using the resources around your town to make your people happy and make other people's people unhappy. Or I mean, uh... Your people. Alright, now we're building up. Making sure they have all their beautiful needs met. And by that I mean not freezing to death. Not starving. Um. And finding Jesus. And some chickens. Next up, we need the most important thing, which is ale. This is heavier than it looks. This construction process, we may need, uh, you know what? I'm going to upgrade to a small stable. And we're gonna order another ox. Settlement level increased. Remove the tariff from imports. I can do... I, I don't know if bees work. Oh, we leveled up, which means the music also levels up. I'm going to try the bees first. This is PvE in this version of the game. I don't know if, like, competitive multiplayer. We're up against Baron Von Hildebolts and a bunch of bandits. Whoever controls... Well, either I control all his territories or just the entire map, depending on the win condition. He has more now at the moment, but that will not... Stand. I'm gonna put the bees next to the church. As one does.
Maybe we'll do farms next year. But it was quite a, an ask for this one. We just don't have the villies. Fuel for four months. I do have firewood production, but... I may need to up it. Can you build a bunch of them? Two max, it says. It's only so much area they can be. New month. It's, I don't know, it, like, I assume the bees don't exist in winter, but I want to try it. All the oxes are out. Even more villies. I do eventually need to start mining. But that's quite a... Hmm. I guess I could build their homes next to it, but like... I'm not sure how that would work. I can also start my manor. I could always just rely on imports. If I have a good enough... Yeah, we just need five level two houses. in order to, uh, reduce the cost. We're actually gonna speed up, so I don't want to upgrade too many at a time because then they kind of get split between them. You have nothing to do? I thought we were upgrading these. Is there no timber? I reserved 10 for construction. We may need to uh, move the woodcutter's lodge as well in order to get more fuel for the winter. I'm just gonna build another one, so that way I'm not interrupting the first. How's the bee production going? I can't tell if I, like, I need graphs. Somebody needs to keep a ledger of whether honey is being produced. Because I bet it's getting eaten almost immediately is what's happening. Hard to tell if we're doing well. Back in the day, you didn't even have a drone cam of your village. You had to walk around and be like, Hey, Barbara! How are the bees? The bees are happy! Alright, that... Is that good? Is that a good thing? No, they produce more honey while stressed. Um... Alright.
Level two done. We do still have one more. Using all the oxes. We have food for six months. I think I'm gonna add maybe like I'm thinking about one more chicken coop. We'll make it through the winter. Level two done. Does anyone even live here? Am I upgrading houses that don't have people in them? And you can't force it like this is free real estate. Guys. Step right up and send. Bee stress is only relevant in the wild. It doesn't affect hives and... All right, Barbara. Sure. Yep. Bee seeing you. Mm. Firewood stall. Hunters. Generic storage phone because it stores one log. It get, that notification should probably not exist. As when they get one log, it says the storage is full. Out of one log. Which is not ideal. December. A new family finally. Okay. So not find fireways anywhere else. Come on, come on. Feast your eyes and I'll find something. Well anything, really. Hmm. I pretty much have to choose between farming and mining, I feel. Like I don't have the villi power for anything else. Maybe I build it out here. It's so far from town. They should live in the farmhouse. I don't know why they don't. We're just gonna go this area. One Morgan, please. Got it. We're gonna start with wheat and then rotate through the crops. I'm also gonna build, we're gonna use the winter for constructing things. I don't know if you can, let's see. Stone mining camp. That's it. Resources stole. They stole our eggs! These fiends! Let's see. What do we have? We have 31 planks, which actually, I think we can drop one from the saw pit at the moment. You'll not find ways anywhere else. Are we still, it, it appears you can still 
get honey during the winter, which is convenient. Um, we do have fuel here. How's the timber situation? Not great. Not too terrible. I think we're going to start foresting as well. Like reforesting. We're going to go ahead and relocate this over here. And... Add the forester's hut. Like, over here. That looks like a spot for, like, this, you know, area. So either I need to import stone or mine it. This is why I have five builders right now to try to get all this construction done during the winter before the growing season. I'm dropping one out. I'm gonna have one over here. Is there any other industry? Iron bars, clay pits, barley malt, hides. How's the tan? The tanner's just been going at it. How many hides do we have? Or clothings? None. Some people just don't have clothes. It's rough. I need to upgrade one more house. Can I, can I pick one that people actually live in this time? At least they can see the benefit. That was kind of a mistake. Let's see. I'd also like if, like, against the storm, you could just click on the iron deposit and be like, all right, let's uh, slap this one down. In fact, we'll slap it down on the, the clay here. By that, I mean small thing. How about the stone? Have one family on it. I like how it smoothly lowers the speed of your camera when you're zoomed in more. It handles it really well. Because, like, I'm, I didn't change anything. It just the camera moves slower when you're closer to the ground. Was that resource at the most? So it's to the right of the indicator, which is a little throwing me off, but that's just firewood. Over there. All right. Did we finish upgrading the house? We're working on it. Put one in the forester hut. New family members. It's a campfire icon, yeah. I think technically you can have, like, charcoal and such. So that's why there's different options. Is it possible to divert villagers that make firewood to other resources when we have a surplus? It might look like a surplus, but... I could probably drop one, but in winter you burn through it faster. I don't know if the timer of, like, how many months you have factors in the fact that you burn through it faster in winter. I'm not sure. Berries, berries, Hello? Well, is there an ox just on the road? Someone? Hello? Also, what is this pathing? Path <laughs> a 
How much timber do we have? We have plenty. It's just an ox problem here. I'm upgrading another stable. I'm going to order another ox. Because we're now so spread out. There's constantly four, like three or four just going around. Did we finish constructing over here? Looks like it. Ah, uh, yes. In Switch Season has now been upgraded. And we can... Oh, what was the other one? Oh, beekeepers can collect wax. <sighs> do I want to double the berries? Or do we lean into the bees? What, how do you get food in the winter? Hunting? Um, importing bread and such? I think the bread carts will work. Um... I'm pretty sure bees as well. You know what? We're going full bees. I'm just going to use the, the beekeepers as my, like... Wherever I need, if I have too many workers, I'm gonna just put it on the bees. Is that how fast villagers move? I'm usually defaulting to X4. This is regular speed. Honestly, because of how they design the animations, it doesn't look too ridiculous on times four. But this is real time. There's times four and times 12, which at first I thought was pretty ridiculous, but it takes a while to do things. Meanwhile, where did you get all the bees from? So what can wax be used for? Is that just a trade good? Also, we're gonna need the tavern. We're gonna start trading for ale momentarily. I don't know if having like five villies in one apiary here would be better or like splitting in between because I don't know how much it affects the production speed because it says it has five slots which feels a bit like like a lot of beekeepers <laughs> all right we need more clothings some ale we need to upgrade the church and by the way where is my manor? Alright, where, where are we going to put it? We need to start collecting taxes. Hmm. It needs a little space around it. This looks like a, a too steep. So it looks more mini evil location. Evil look. Honestly, here by the road. And then eventually we turn it into like a castle kind of thing. It has like a radius where you can build walls and gates and all that fanciness. Oh, I'm actually going to get this as well. Wait, no. Maximum retinue size. I do eventually want that, but I don't want to do that right off the bat. You can you can build more to it as time goes on. Like you can, as your town becomes more profitable, so must your manor. They t the people demand that their lord represent them with great, um, beautiful, um, home. Right, it's, it's a matter of prestige. If my home is larger than all the homes in the town put together, what that means? I'm a great lord.
So, there are people living here. So I can now do artisan things. Oh wait, is this where you use the wax? Wooden parts to make... shields. Animal production of shoes. Like just... Yeah, but what do I need to make shoes? I assume, like, these need... Enables production of these things, but... First thing first, I'm gonna get some shoes. Let's, let's get some shoes. I don't know what is... I assume it's gonna be, like, leather, but... We got honey, we got breads. You don't have much food in general, but... Yeah, maybe, maybe they're wooden shoes. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could get other settlements and all that. Mm -hmm. We need... wait. I only have... We're still building one more. But... Do I have the timber for all this? Alright. This should fill out... Our living space. We should be able to finish this by the end of winter. There is enough timber reserved for it. It just... We need the oxes. We have uh, four oxes, right? Why are they not being guided to the t Somebody come get this ox! Hello? Thank you, Fritz. Is my men are done? Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh shit, I started construction on a bunch of houses as I was constructing my house and now they're all spread between it. <sighs> Classic mistake. So, this is my cobbler's shop. They don't just magically make it though, right? Like. Converts shoes. Okay, 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 okay. Here we are. Requires leathers. Wait, where the fuck am I getting leathers from? Ah, shit. He just said leather. You just said leather. Please speak again. Oh, the tannery makes me leather. Outright. Right? Yes. Okay, don't be dumb. Which means we need more goats in order to produce more hides. Oh, yikes. Um. Okay. How are we getting so many hides from the goats? Like, they only have... Oh. You also have the deer hides from the hunting, but... That is not as scalable. I literally hear the guy saying leather, so I should have figured that one out on my own. But, you know, they don't give us streamers these games because we're good at them. Because we make other sweaty tryhards who are desperately wanting to play feel better about themselves. The new year. Need some sheep next for the wall? That's complicated. I can't tell if we have enough hides. Let's see. Do we... 
minus negative one leather, which is not very many. Um, as a mathematician myself, yeah, that's a pretty low number. We're gonna do some more logging. Come one, come all. Okay, so this logging camp, it doesn't work. The uh, multi, yeah, it's not gonna be it. We'll just demolish it to get the timber and maybe some space. Can we pay, can we? Taxes, taxes. We're working on it. What do we want? Taxes. When do we want it? Quarterly. Or actually, it's, it's monthly, but... I don't really have any income, though, so... You guys, hello. We're almost done. All you gotta do. Here comes the team. That's it? Nope, guys. Come on. Come on! Where the hell are you going? What? Half the town just came out. Everybody put their own little peg in it, and then that's it. Let come back. Hello. They heard me yelling about taxes. Firewood. We have all. Oh, we are missing one stone. We didn't have the the rock we need. That's why there was one stone we couldn't until we had that last stone. All right, tax it, tax it, 10%. All right, to start. I don't have any, so this convi- So I get regional wealth from trading, and I take a cut of that. But the more I take, the less uh, people are enthused about it. But also, I get some from, like, the higher level houses. They also pay taxes. The huts, like the peasant huts, are so desperately poor that they don't have anything worth collecting. Ah, the bandits stole my hide. Hey! Oh yeah, and they also just sit around all day with all their weapons out, being bandits. It's mean. So, the other one is tithes to the church in return for influence, which can be used to press claims. You can say that, um, divine- my, I have a divine mandate for these lands. We're gonna put 5% of our food to the church, so we can slowly collect, um... Mm -hmm. All right, so we do have one mining pit over here. Hopefully those cobblers are getting some work done. I'd love to know what the monthly goat production or... Ah, oh, yes, we have the goats. And then is that like a tanning pit? So we, we get the, le uh, the hides on a regular basis. It's pretty fucked up to have it right out there, but... <laughs> The goats don't know. Let's see. And once we get that, we'll have the cobbler shop. We also need the tavern. There's just not enough employees. I could probably pull one from logging. Yeah. What do we need? Ah, uh, yes, level three or higher. Can get some more level two options. Is this level two yet? Oh, I can expand living space. I forget that was a double size. Maybe I could get some with like a garden in the backyard. 
This one has a pretty big backyard, but nobody lives here. <sighs> well, the snow is melting. A new bandit camp. All right. It's almost farming time. Yeah, yeah. Go set a family over there. They're gonna have to go walk over. Let's see. How's the food? It's, uh... Fine. We're gonna need a tavern eventually. Oh, yeah. Let's see. We've received port reports. Track their movements. Yes. Any moment they could strike. Probably not this moment, but you never know. Is it too large? Hmm. Should probably just have the tavern right next to the church. I don't know how close it actually has to be here. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad bet. These things do happen from time to time. We'll see. We'll slap it down there. Down the street. It's only five timber. The The harder part is certainly going to be the, uh, you know, getting the ale. I guess that's just trade, but. Let's see, we got the extra. So, produces ale from malt, but you have to have the malt. Well, that's the issue. All right. So we're gonna have one in the trade post. We gotta, we gotta open up a lot more trading this year. How do I? What was that? What is it said I hit there was like 57 on bear No, that's not it Food is uh quite light here I don't really have production of anything All right, we're pulling the villi on that for a moment Let's lean into the honey I guess one more on honeys. You'll not find Are we getting uh, two forms of... Are we cobbling or not? And how much to upgrade the church level? We need the clay. Alright, pull it together. Clay furnace. Well, we're already pulling them all the way back, so... As long as they go to the storehouse, which we need to upgrade with more planks, which is hard to get when you don't have anyone in the saw pit. I'm gonna drop out of the tannery for a moment. Don't be shy, good sirs. Employment is hard. Residing families uh, six of the families wait. Can I can I have no servants? No two families are dedicated servants no matter what
We have fuel for nine months. Hmm. We're like one out of the apiary. Tavern's done. Let's see. I'm letting these grow, but I'm gonna... I think we're gonna put one family. Yeah. And we can also grow herbs there, so... Might as well... Oh, I only have one, uh... Wealth now, so that... That's a bit low. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna drop one out of the saw pit. Back into the tannery. Dyer's workshop is next. How much stone do I have? I think I'm gonna pull out the, uh, the stone pit. Yeah. More honey. And uh, in April, we'll start with more on the uh, foraging hunt. Plenty of timber. It's actually full over here. So we're going to drop off that for a moment. I've got all the planks, which allow me to upgrade the storehouse to 2,500 from 250, which is, uh, a lot more. How do you attract new families? If your approval is over 50%, then eventually new families will join. I'm not sure if... Well, I'm pretty sure it's usually near the start of the month, but I'm not 100%. If you have enough homesteads and your approval is over 50%, I'm not sure... If it goes much higher, uh, you attract them faster, but it does seem to be that way. But, like, I have 23 living spaces. I currently have 18 families. Yeah, we got the berries now. I think I'm gonna put one back into the dial workshop. That's where my money is. I don't have any other trade at the moment, so. Are we cobbling? But we're giving our people shoes, but does that not count as... Like a clothing? I guess not. Oh wait, we just got another stall here. I'm pretty sure there's the cobblers. It's a food stall. Firewood, firewood. Beekeeper, clothing, tanner, hunter. Well, uh, maybe they just go down to the workshop. Like, this guy's house over here. Like, uh, over to the Conrad's Shoes. New family started moving in. Yep. With April. We're gonna add a second to berries now. We're gonna start making some money off the dyes. Oh, I need one at the trading post. Another ruler's army was sighted. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh they're fighting the bandits. All right. He bought some mercenaries.
Oh no, my cursor got unlocked. Will the bandits win? It looks like those army- wait. Where are the bandits? It's going down. Hello, boys. They're a bit optimistic. Oh, watch out. Oh, yikes. Well, don't worry, they can take it. Just shrug it off. We'll be okay. Fucking archers. Get the archers. Oh, wait, shit. Wow, they actually baited them into the trees where they surprised them with more troops. And the bandits fell for it. Classic. They can't get all their troops because there's only so many bandits to slaughter. But yeah. They're running. All right. Well, it appears the bandits are not victorious on this day. We need to make more dye. We're trading away all of it. I need to get back to uh, the 25 resources in order to open up a new trade route. Do I have a dev point? Nope. What now? Oh. Yeah. They're gonna go claim. When you claim the camps, you get some resources as well. So that's extra incentive to deal with the bandit camps. I'll go with the planting. Ah, uh, yes. Now we're sowing, which I guess is also planting. I'm aware policies are available, I just don't want to implement any of them. Ah, uh, yes, the stone camp. We gotta bring all the stones back towards town. That's what we're doing. Do we need more fuel? We need more food, ideally. I don't have enough villies! What are you guys? Oh, those are my servants at the manor. What is this? Oh yes, the clay furnace. Which requires refueling as a key point. AKA it's going to need firewood.
I need to wait for more village to move in. At the moment. I can add some more plots, maybe, but... Let's see, are there any industries I haven't... The weaver workshop, but I don't have any of those materials. The malt house. I don't have any barley. The smithy. Same thing. Like, these are all... Well, some of them are very easy to build. So, like, I could just slap them down. And have them constructed, but... Yes, okay, policies available. Which policies? Do I want to reduce the yield from my crops? No. Do I want my citizens to starve themselves? No. Do I want to click the ones that don't work? No. No, thank you. Like, these are all big downsides. So, no, thank you. I do wonder, like, if you could toggle on the hunting policy and then during harvest season. But I feel like if you toggle it on, it'll just affect crops all season. Hmm. Yeah. We're gonna look for more housing locations. Oh yeah, I was, I I was gonna build houses here. I just uh, got a bit distracted. How about this? They don't even have backyard space there. I need to move this. I'm not sure if having a level 2 house is, like, a, uh, higher requirement of resource. I mean, it's a higher requirement to upgrade it, but I don't know if they're unhappy if you don't have it. Because, like, other games say you have a need for all these things, and I'm not meeting all the needs, so my approval goes down. But for the filthy peasants, I'm meeting all their needs, which are much less so. So, like... I think we're going to start selling some planks at the trading as well. We're going to open up a trade route. And export them down to 20. It's only, it's only two apiece, but... I think I need a candle maker in order to use my... Wait, can I sell the wax? I don't think so. I have wax somewhere. You can't just sell, like, barrels of wax. Wait, I thought... Would I not take the wax one? They also collect wax. Where is it going? I assume they're collecting it. I don't have any, like, candle makers or whatever. How does one build candles? I don't see it here. I'm gonna feel dumb. Maybe it's level three. Like, I don't have any level three shops. So. We gotta start trading. I'm gonna start burning the clay as well. Oh, I didn't refill the firewood place. I'm gonna run out of timber soon at this rate. Poor 
Forester camp doing its thing. We'll do a direct route to the, uh... I think the sawmill right next to... Wait, can villies carry planks on their own? So maybe the sawmill should be right next to the, uh, logging camp. Let's try that. And then carry it direct to the storehouse from there. Hmm. Because it appears like it's essentially like milling a log into a 2x4 kind of situation, it seems. Wait, monks and the clergy? You know, that is possible. I don't have anyone there. From what I understand, they just dig graves. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Oh, wait, wait. We're going to trade for ale. Wait, do I have the... I need one more... The import price of ale is so high. I can't. I can't afford. Was it full? Not quite, but... There's no way I can afford that much ale. I mean, I just need... In order to get to the next point, I need three at level three, which means the ale, the tavern supply, and the church. Okay. Are we furnacing the clay? This is another one that maybe I should have this. Maybe I should have the clay furnace next to the clay. But it needs firewood. Ah, okay. Since it needs firewood. I think we just... Yeah. I think it needs to stay over. Uh, this area for the most part. Stocks damaged by the weather. It's just a bunch of timber on the ground, right? Wait, what did that open up? <laughs> Building name. Pastures. Um, I think it's just a piece on the ground. Interesting thing. I think that's a bug. New family? More laborers! How exciting. Well, it's not gonna get any easier to import, so... I need ale. I'm opening up the trade for it. There's no way I'm getting it with uh, the current... We're just gonna do... Full trade, or, or import it, just five. I just need enough ale to upgrade those houses, and that'll be a lot cheaper. God, that's gonna be most of my money. But it, then I can upgrade to level three, which I should. Oh, it also costs me money to upgrade to level three. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, those are roof tiles, is what they. Well, we're upgrading the church. How's this going? How's the field? Yeah, looking good. But right, now they grow. Do I need villies to help that? How much clay do I have? 70 clay. I could probably pull one there.
I'm gonna pull from the forester's hut in favor of the dyer's workshop in order to increase dye production because I need money. I'm working on the honey. Oxes are only for timber, right? Otherwise, it's just... We're putting one more on the berries. I only have two logs. Boxes for farming and plowing. If I want, I can definitely have bigger farms as well. I'm slowly collecting tax money as on top of everything. Clothing, clothing market supply. Okay, do we have a tavern supply? Oh, I need someone working in the fucking tavern. gonna drop one from the honey into the tavern why why can't we make mead again I still need the constructing yeah markets growing I still have like I can expand it as well but becoming a real market looking area It appears that this is the better method for the sawmill, though. I could... You could potentially assign... I don't know how to assign... Permanent livestock. Okay, I'm gonna... Does that mean the people who are working the logging camp will use that ox? I'm gonna try assigning... An ox to it, permanently. Let's see how that goes. Because I have four of them. Do we have... Level three! Alright. Wait, which one? We can upgrade the cobbler shop to level three. Which... Adds living space for one extra family and two families for plots of living space. Well... We're going to level three. Are you prepared to go all z triple level three? There we are. Oh, I need more level twos as well. You can tell by how shitty the roof is. We need a lot more construction here. Now we need roof tiles and all those goodies. I'm gonna raise taxes a bit. Yeah, yeah, but I, we're gonna need to potentially hire some mercenaries in the coming... Maybe we can just trade for... Um... Well, everything. <laughs> So we are, we have wheat. Ah, we're going to need to deal with that as well. New family, well they can help with construct- Oh, look at that! You could also create more li- Eh! There you go. I don't even think that's the highest level house. Pantry is full. Why is nobody moving it to the granaries? Because I don't have any granary workers. 
shouldn't they automatically move it to the granary? If I put, I'm just gonna pull one, and we'll put it in the granary then. Sure. I want some that don't have a backyard yet. I need to maybe have some more artisans. I made the mistake earlier. Of not dealing with that correctly. Oh, look at that. having them do two houses like multiple houses at once so it's a bit convoluted but <laughs> but food is dicey i am gonna need um where is it a windmill and an oven to deal with the wheat What are you guys doing? Fetching water, debranching a tree. I need more villies. Always need more villies. How much clay do I have? 67. How many roof tiles have I built? What is the ratio? I one to one, I guess. So now we have two out of three. Wait, is one of these not done? That one's not done. Working on those level twos. I'm gonna queue up another. So that should be five, six, seven there. Taxes aren't paying for enough. <laughs> We're gonna need more for mercenary. Uh, I guess we can make our... Uh, we'll maybe just have the militia. We'll see. Policies... Are there new policies available? I don't think so. They're all work in progress. Just keeps giving that indicator. You know, I think that wax was a rip off there. You can't make your own weapons. I can, but I need to mine iron and then forge it into weapons, which is another process that doesn't contribute to daily life. Or upgrading basic infrastructure. <laughs> if you raise tax... I don't know if... My if my approval drops below 50%, I don't know if they start moving away, but I wouldn't be surprised. Tavern supply. Approval will fall if not fulfilled. So it isn't until level three, I guess, that approval falls if you can't fulfill things. Let's get that construction dug, guys. Where are you all going? Construction done. Six out of seven. And then once this is done, and there you are. 
And now I can lower import prices, which means I can afford to import ale on a more regular basis. Yep, it's down to 8 instead of 18. So essentially, everybody was imposing a tariff of 10 silvers. So now I should be able to afford... It's, that's 80, potentially, but... I am trading away... Uh right now the uh, die for four apiece over 20 maybe I could no that firewood is needed and then maybe we do roof tiles soon that's more of a winter one we can do die in summer and then roof tiles potentially in in the winter I'm gonna pull one off the workshop here I kind of wish there was, like, a limit. Like, I don't want to convert every berry into dye. But they will keep doing it as long as there are people working here, so I gotta be careful about that. There's no, like, keep 20 berries in stock. Mm. We need to deal with the grain. What a banger. 74%. These fucking trees in the way. Unfortunately, I didn't plan. So what else would we do with the grain? I'm trying to think. There's nothing else that the wheat goes into. No, I mean like, once I have this. So I'm trying to think of the transporting. No, we'll have it here, they'll haul it back. No, I want this in town, or near town. Because it is important for a bunch of things. Ninety percent, ninety-one percent. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Fine. And then there's an oven for breads. Let's get to constructing. Wait, did two more families move in? I guess they did. We need more ale! I think my timber's low. Gonna put one more on logging here. One in the forester's hut. Because clearly we're struggling. A smaller stock pile that doesn't affect flour. Only allow flour in town. They'll bring it back. I'm pretty sure it goes in the granary. It's kind of unclear which side of things that they'll come at. Uh, whether it's... It seems like usually um, the materials will be transported by whoever's working at the workshop from a storehouse. But... Because, like, for example, the trading post, you won't stock it with anything until you have someone working there. But you can have nobody in the storehouse and they'll still come get things, so... That just... is a, It's like haulers in against the storm for these sort of materials. We're gonna keep it simple here. We don't even have an accountant to tell us if we made more money last month or this one. So... Got the oven done. No point in that one until we start harvesting, though.
Windmill. Putting two in the logging camp. We still have the saw pit over here. I'm not moving it again. <laughs> out of this do i have a do i have a herb farm i do but i'm still gonna drop one i don't think we need two and it seems like we've sent i think the season for dying has ended we'll move to selling just clay i think yeah like roof tiles and planks in the winter and potentially bread So, I'm going to put one more on honey. We're shifting. Let's see. The hunting camp's kind of just been doing its thing for... Yeah. I don't know if hunting... Oh. When it drops to this number. I, I thought I had it backwards on that number. Does an herb farm work in the winter? They appear to be growing. I don't know what to do with the herbs, though. They just... Do the level 3s want some herbs? Is that a food? <laughs> they eat... Can they eat herbs? Did I... Do I still have a livestock tied? No. But... Just eat some herb, bro. All right. I'm not here to judge. We have enough to potentially add another, especially an artisan. How about some bows? We've already got a cobbler. Wooden shields. Let's do the joiner's workshop. Hearts and shields. Which it seems like you can make those out of wood, so... A brewer requires malt. I'd have to import malt. I'm gonna need one more on firewood. <sighs> we keep running out. I think I need to up the ale import slightly. Because we keep running out. We're going to 15. <laughs> As long as we give them enough ale, they won't complain about taxes. Whoa. Oh, that's not my land. It's fine. Almost at harvest season. Meat is not really coming through. We should have gotten a vegetable garden or two. Maybe I build some large plots here. <sighs> what was that? We finished something. Get to melon. What do we got here? Oh, 
That's just the indicator for that. Workers can't find anything to gather. Alright, we'll let that go for now. Get one more constructor. Made some money. I'm, uh, just... Well, we have the joiner's workshop now, too. Production. Large shields, small shields. Alright, we'll get some small shields. Oh, it's September! It's harvest season! How exciting. Which means windmill. We're gonna drop one out of the logging camp. Move one out of the granary. I don't know why it was in there. Gonna move another family in to help with the harvest. Uh -uh. And the oven. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to get from one part to the other. We're at 24 out of 28. Can I add another base? I don't want to upgrade to level 3 yet. I could always switch this. But it would cost. Wait, do I get... Oh! Well, it's going to be a level 3 house then. Cool. Can I cancel it? Well, it's done. Alright. We press the button. It is done. Some more, some larger plots. We're gonna put a vegetable farm or something. Next season. I'm trying to just make one big one. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Eh. Can kind of game it. I make it a little wider here. Trying to get two with extended, so they can have more families to work the farms. See how that works out. Give that a shot. More millin. We're gathering. Okay, let's let's slow it down and see. So they they have gathered. The wheat's here. And they're transporting. What? Why are you fetching water? We're down to three months of food. Maybe we need more eggs. We keep adding people, but not too much food. I guess farms need water. Big if true. Waiting. Am I dumb? Did I not? Crop type. Is that not a grain? Is that not what grain looks like? Let's hope they, uh, get it done here. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to figure out. Wait, don't I have the stalls? I do not. They're not unlocked. I spent my points on other stuff. I can put another in the hunting camp. But otherwise, just imports. They've hunted them all the way, like... What happens if I hunt them to nothing? Did they come back the next year? 
kind of doubt. No, instead of a second one in the hunting camp, let's just add more to the bees. Y'all milling? All right, they're milling. It's working. Wait, grain and wheat? Why are those two different things? Yeah, oh, the farmhouses brush it into grain. And then that grain is milled by the windmill. And then it's made into bread. That hard as a rock bread that you know and love. I don't have that much fuel either, because I'm fueling the uh, furnace. I could open up the roof tile trade, if I had the money. I can probably sell down to like 10. I've been exporting planks as well, but... I have so much clay, right? Yeah, I'm gonna pull. Wait, what? This man is is claiming Imin Ruth. Um, resolve the claim on the battlefield. I'm not gonna fight. I will lose. So I've tried to fight it several times. And usually he just affords more mercenaries and kills me. So we're just going to delay his claim by 90 days and then he can have it and I will take it back. But unfortunately we don't have like nearly enough to hire mercenary companies. Got a joiner shop now. I'm out of ale. Let's see. Six small shields. Can the militia? Okay. I can form a militia. We'll just do spears. They require large shields. They require two planks. Ah, so that's where my planks are going. I see. I'm seeing early into a retinue. Yeah, they do seem to be strong. Enemy unit spotted. Once again, they, they can... Uh, there is no way I can fight that. He's got three, four companies and a militia with 36 in his retinue. I don't, I don't know how he gets that in that amount of time. That's ridiculous. But. Yeah, you can have it. I'm focused on my people as opposed to just random land, sir. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Well, you'll not find finer wares anywhere else. We need food. We need fuel. What are they doing? Plowing by hand. We can drop one family here. I'm gonna jump in the firewood.
I'm putting four out of four. Wait, why does this one have four slots? And this one has also four slots. I don't know. I thought it had five people. But that's my... My options here. I'm trying to get more out of this outfit too. We have plenty of houses. Approval is a bit on the low side. I can no longer provide ale, which is upsetting people. On a regular basis. I may need to stop building the shields. Yeah. Can I... Can I, uh... Oh, can I pause production? Like, I don't want to produce anymore. Stop! Stop crafting! Okay, you know what? How about we sell she? I have to pause. I have to pause the ale trade. I can just sell small shields, I guess. Very top of window. But now I realize I can convert one plank into one shield, which sells for more than a plank. Step right up and so at least I have that. I mean, I already knew these things, but... Are we breading? We're breading. All right, it's bacon time. So bread is working. Not great, but... I have 33 roof tiles. Wait, how am I gonna get any money? I can't open up any trade route. We're gonna go to zero. We're gonna sell every bit of planks. Ah. I'm gonna drop out of roof tiles for now. It's also doing the refueling. Let's see. I can make it worthwhile if you drop all your claims. Um... I may withdraw for such a price. I had no intention. D I declare peace. He's like, actually, I don't want to fight, bro. Here's some money. You know what? Uh, I guess, I guess, uh, good thing we didn't have to work it out on the battlefield. Would have been rough. We can, we can lower taxes for a bit. Can I convert- can I buy things directly with my treasury now? Hiring retinue and mercenaries. But no, that's my money and it can't be used for the people. Don't be ridiculous. I'm trying to get enough food to survive the winter, but they're not producing. I'm gonna- my approval will dip because of a lack of, uh, entertainment, aka ale. But... I need 25 to open up a trade route for shields. Once I get that, we're good to go. I need to stop spending down under 25, otherwise I can't actually do the trade routes. Which is problematic. Problematic. 
Any moment now, I gotta wait for the merchant to come back. Where are you? Why do you suck? Oh, he's back in town. There we are. I can now trade. We're gonna no longer trade planks. We will be trading small shields. Export down to like we'll just export all of them. Wait, is that another merchant? No, I know. Two months of food. Okay, I will buy some grain. Can I buy grain direct? Commodities, materials. Grain it. Grain is too. I can't. I don't have the money. I'm at twenty four. Ah! I can't buy the grain or the flour. These guys are just waiting. Am I completely out? Did we already... Okay, well. They're still peddling. We're at maximum bees. I'm adding more. I'm, try I'm trying to run my entire town off of honey. And, uh, to... Eh. Let's see. Wild animals on rich deposits? Yeah, I don't have that, though. Don't skip meals yet. It's not that bad yet. Little do they know how low our food stocks are. Yeah, I'm not sure if having more actually increases the rate at which you produce honey. To be honest, like... Oh, wait, uh, food went up! Alright, that means my plan works. <sighs> Where's the merchant? Please? Oh, he's leaving? He's gotta go back off the map, come back. I don't know how long. I think it's like approximately one month. All they're doing is peddling. Do I even have any bread? Why are you peddling if we don't have any bread? Because there's bread at the stall. Wait, oh, that's surplus. That's like what we have past what's at the stall. Okay, all right. So it's not like we literally have seven food. We have seven food past what is currently at the stalls. I do have hunting, but we're hunting it down to almost nothing. And I don't think you're supposed to hunt to nothing. I need more eggs as well. Oh, I have 189. Okay, this is a very important 189 to spend well. I think we're just gonna get some more chickens, to be honest. We got the goats there. Chicken coop. I wanna make sure I have these farm. Like, I wanted to do the farms before. I'm gonna get it set. Vegetable gardens here. On these. And we're gonna... Like, we don't have anyone living there yet, so I'm not gonna add any living space. One more chickens. I don't know at which rate. <laughs> that agriculture is OP for a reason. <sighs> I guess you could do livestock, like livestock work in the winter. Oh yeah, we could open up more trade too. My shield trade is working out.
Can I afford? The only thing I'm selling are the small shields. How much did the large shields sell for? Not significantly more. So. So, at a rate of 10 or so, I get about 50. I, I can't afford the ale yet. I'm not risking my bank. Why is no one moving in? I'm only taxi at 10%. We need eight plots. Uh, still a lot of resources. Yeah, we'll do. We're gonna do. We're gonna build. It's winter, so we can build another farm. Have a new farmhouse, and we'll just rotate the crops between them all. So this is going to be doing flax. So we should be able to do wheat. Wait, can you just leave it fallow? But the, can you? How do you turn it into a pasture farm? Oh, I don't know how to actually put the um. So wheat, wheat, barley, flax. Wheat, barley, flax. In that order. You only need one farmhouse and you just add fields. Um. I mean, is there a downside to having another one if I don't employ it? Besides the construction time. But the fields aren't necessarily connected to the farmhouse. It is a storage. Yeah. Like, just having the farmhouse is like the base stockpile for it. I just don't have the, the villies. The, these bees are not putting out. Clothing is always on the ragged edge here. I have 30 pairs of shoes. There should be like a... Oh, pause. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Is there another upgrade? Wait, do I have new church bells? Terrible bell. That's the real upgrade there. Lack of entertainment. How long on the, um, merchant? Oh, we just got here. Did we trade some of the ale? I forget. Not quite. If I don't have any ale, then why do I need people in the tavern? That is a good question. <sighs> We're just going to make a third field then. And this one will have the full rotation. Doesn't cost anything, so. Flex. Yeah, it's a terrible, it's terrible for flex, but. Wheat, barley. So we'll have a little bit of everything every year.
We're barely holding on with food. I guess the bees are enough. Barely. I only have one on the logging camp. I'm gonna move it. Move him over to the uh, clay furnace. And we can start selling some roof tiles. As How much does it take to upgrade a tier 3? Let's see. Four roof tiles. A is there anything I'm gonna build that needs? Thank you, Fearless Gaming. For the raid. As well. Hopefully I had a good stream. Let's see. There's not- there's nothing that needs more than like four or five roof tiles, so... We're gonna open up trade to sell. Export the roof tiles down to like... We'll say 12, because that's three of the level threes. Wait, what- what just happened? Sorry, farmhouse done. I'm actually- I'm gonna move this over. Move the families into this one. I'll see. And how does one build spears? Production of war bows. I guess I could raise an archer militia. We're probably just going to be relying on mercenary for defense. I have a small spear militia, but... Let's see what mercenaries are available at the moment. Flock of crazy geese. Battle Brothers. Uh, well, we'll see what we're dealing with. And I gotta be careful about having them. I gotta hire them at least a month before unless I can get them to come directly to my like province. Because otherwise, they have to walk, which is terrible. Is it finally time to retrade ale? Can I finally afford to feed my people their drinks? Yes, I think so. I, I stopped trading the uh, planks, right? Correct. Correct. Wooden parts sell for five. Shields also sell for five, so... I don't know if there's like a time on each one, how long it takes. But wooden parts take two planks. Shields only take one plank. And they sell for the same amount. So... I guess wooden parts are probably needed for... Some certain things. Nobody's moved in in a while. I have housing. Do Are these all chicken coops? Yeah. I got so many chickens. It's holding it together. I need people to move into the vegetable farms before spring. Yeah, there's not too much else at the moment that I can do with... <sighs> Maybe I fence in some of the other stuff there. I can make the iron pit, but so far out. You can get that going. So maybe if I have enough people. All right, new mercenary companies. These might be the ones I end up hiring. Let's see. The Brotherhood of the Forest. They pride themselves on stealing from the rich and giving to the poor and wear extremely tight hose. 
Look, there's just a band of brigands. Flock of crazy geese. I'd probably go for the Brotherhood. Wait. Arrives in Zvayao. The others. Wait, where is that? The exact opposite. There's one in Imarith. The other side. Waldbrand. I'm not paying 90. My approval. Well, it was... I barely charged for taxes. I guess, oh, it went down because a new family was moving in, which lowers, like, the average. Beautiful. Does everybody have a backyard plot here? Yeah. There's nothing to be done at the farmhouse, right? Have we finished? Oh, no. Haven't finished the mining pit yet. Three hundred and eighteen wealths. Four hundred and forty in the treasury. Let's see. This is a level two. We could do... We got shoes. I mean, I think we're gonna need the uh, blacksmith. I'm not sure what war bows require. Probably would, but... I'm gonna need the bloomery as well to make iron slabs. Wait a second, that uses iron directly, but it also needs refueling. All these need refueling is the issue at the end of the day. Which means you need the firewood. Let's put it over there. It has a bit of issue, really. So we'll keep it up. Is this done? One family on it. Have we got the vegetable gardens? I think. We're, yeah, we're gonna make this. Clothes, cloaks, gambesons. You know what? Let's look at the boat. I just want to see what it is. I can change it too. If I need to. It's four planks. What's the battle plan? Hire someone to fight my battles for me. Hoping at the start of next month that, uh... I will have a convenient placement for the mercenaries. What do we have here? Joiner shop. That's my shields. This is my, uh, my shoes. 39 shoes. I feel like that's fetching water, pedaling. Let's see. We have 26 leather right now, so that's enough for a lot of different... Well, that's where the... It's going into the shoes. Wait, am I at 0% tax or 10%? 10%. Okay. Hmm. 
bloomery done. So these all require refueling. I need to up the firewood. Is there an upgrade of some kind besides having more wood cutters? I don't think so. It gets easier after winter, but... The next set of mercenaries we need to... I may just have to hire some. I think they'll roll over. If they don't, we could have some troubles. If it doesn't roll over by the time we have like 15 days left. How do I hire more retinue? I mean, I have 5 out of 12. I know you can add more, but I need to hire them. More done. Oh yeah, is the Bowyer's Workshop? A Fletcher's Shop. Also requires refueling. Oh, nobody fucking lives here. God damn it. How does this keep happening to me? You gotta check these things beforehand. Oh, all right, all right. Brotherhood of the Force, gold off. Uh, which one is the Imminruth? All right, the Battle Brothers. We'll hire the Battle Brothers company. We have the coin. We're going to have to hire them for two months. But... Where are you? We're going to send them to defend the town. Hopefully they can walk here in time. They gotta march. It's gonna take a month to get there. Yes, yes. Only sire till I stop paying them. The hardest part, I, I don't know why, I don't know how to get people to live in the right houses. Like, someone lives here, I can reassign them to a different workplace. But this is a Fletcher shot, it is a workplace! No, it's a lifestyle. It's different. Can I send her camera? Oh yeah, they're now in my... Will they march on the road? Do they march faster on the road? I don't think they're... They're not following the road, so... Villagers shoot. At uh, approaching enemies. So. I can just put a tower. I don't know how much range. This one seems pretty cheap. I'm just going to put it on the road here. I guess you could put one all along the edges. But... Oh shit. What is that noise? Yeah. 
Yeah, the game's worth it so far, in my opinion. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but if it's under 40, I think people of who like these kind of games will enjoy it. Let's see how my lord enjoys it. You guys like my cape? A show of dignity for our town. Where's Barbara? Last time she was constructing my church. Beautiful. Main Street has has progressed. Let's go down the side. Beautiful church. Oh, he's even got a little walking stick. See you guys later. And I, I guess you could just keep going. Like, uh, just keep going. Just run all the way off. I had only made it like over to here. It's a quick jog. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Where is my arm? Where is my uh, armies for hire? I'll be there. We'll get there. Is the bloomery running now? Did I did I put one in? No, not yet. We have a barely replacement level of food. I guess I could get some more chicken coops. Tell me we have people living here now. Nope. At neither of the vegetable farms. So the three places that I desperately need people to be living. The three homes. And there's only three. Are the three. Like at the vegetable farm and the bowyer. The Fletcher. Are the three that don't have anyone living there. Nobody wants to commit to such a tied-down lifestyle. It's not that big a deal until spring. Move taxes. No, people keep moving in. It's just I needed to pick different houses. Also, 10% tax. Come on. We gotta, we're gotta. we trying to run a town here.
We gotta pay the mercenaries to protect us from what will happen if we don't pay the mercenaries. So pay your taxes. So we'll pay the mercenaries to make sure you pay your taxes. Ah yes, my banner. They, they have my banner, uh, of course, the Cracker Barrel. Alongside theirs. I didn't even notice that before. When they're mercenaries, but fighting for you. Would destroying a home move them over? Yes. Do I have any I can destroy that have nothing here? I don't think they'll be happy about it. People live here? Not anymore. Did they move in? No. Did they move in? No. Yes. How about here? Didn't think so. I, I don't love this method. I feel like you should be able to just... Maybe pay them. Maybe pay them like a silver piece or something. More than they've made in their entire lives. I, I shouldn't have to demolish their entire home just to get them to move into the correct areas, but here we are. Alright, we're going to expand the living space of both of these now. The armies have joined us with days to spare. I could have run them here, but... Alright, make sure to enjoy yourselves at the taverns. Um, we don't have much ale, but you, know, you guys just... A bandit camp was sighted. Where could it be? Okay, no. I could maybe go fight the other one, but... Alright, meanwhile the town goes on. We're almost out of timber. We gotta put one back in. We're gonna drop... Drop one from the sawmill. Still have a forester, right? Yeah. Woodcutter's trying its best. Running out of food! Don't tell me I'm also feeding these. I mean, we can trade for, I guess, a uh, trade for apples. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting apples, so I can import, let's import 20 apples. Why not? Jimmy, give me my frames back. <sighs> Troubling. Raiders near. Not a good time to be troubled. We're prepared for the attack. I'm not sure how to actually... I'm gonna unit spotted. What? What? Let's start over there. Oh my god. Rip their heads off. Kill them all. It's time for war. You guys You guys know it's going to take like 2 months to get there. Okay. 
Well. We're gonna send one of the uh, mercenary groups out to intercept. Yeah, he's coming though. We'll keep the spears at home. War! At a realistic pace. Unfortunately. Oh, there's a... There's a firewood. That needs to be picked up there. What? Mission completed. Raiders near. Well... Yeah, I guess that's mission completed then. Food or fuel? Yeah, we're down to one month of food. Didn't I just trade? Where's my merchant? Come here! Bring me my apples! Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, you can't actually destroy them. Berries so plump and juicy, you'll want it. Is the merchant here yet? We'll know. <sighs> New mercenary companies. Is there a chance I find one that is in a better spot? Eh. We'll get there. Yeah, you can't just hire one of the uh, divisions of it, so. Merchant? Or is that the... I just got 20 apples that I can move to a food stall. New families moving in as well. Family members join the settlers. Things are growing. I probably need another family farming here. The war music. We're up to two months of food. And we have more food variety, so there's that. Mercenary company paid Battle Brothers. Yeah, it will eventually drain my treasury at this rate. Ah! War closes! Got like an ETA on this. Why are they losing cohesion or effectiveness? Is it the trees? Is it that they're fighting in the trees? Or just hanging out in the trees? What about these guys? Yes, sire. Where can you see the season? It's down here behind me. It's March now. Just move over a little. March through June is, uh... March through May is spring. All right. Kill them! Smash them and chop up. Wait, what? Where am I? I think it put me like on the edge of my zone as a lord. Push forward! Fall before the battle, brothers!
Yeah, not even all of them. <laughs> they got their cheerleaders in the back. We're pushing them back. They're losing that morale. Push forward. Get fuck nerds. Victory. All right, let's go uh, clear up this bandit camp now. Might as well. Well, they're still paid. I can disband it right before I have to pay them again. All right, we need to get back to eating berries and whatever other fields we can sow. Unclear how they prioritize it, but they're kind of split between it. Are we fletching now? A new message? When searching, we found send resources in nearest town. This belongs to my treasury now. 156. Yeah, this is mine now, indeed, indeed. To pay the mercenaries to make sure that the money keeps flowing into my treasury. Let's see, are there any more bandit camps that I can get to in time? I can go into my enemy's lands, but there's nothing to really attack there from what I understand. Because they don't actually build a town at the moment. I just spent 120? Was I not able to sell? Apparently not. We need more ale. The Fletcher shop. General though. Wait, are there no people here? Wait, what? It's a Fletcher shop, but it's not building anything. So like in construction? Yeah, there's... There's no bows. Might be bugged. Because like it, it implies it needs fuel for something, but... It appears the, they're not working on anything here. So, in order, well, here, we can get some more food first. And then we gotta press our claim to, well, really anywhere else would be good. Come on. My, my shield production is the only thing carrying through. I thought it was, I am importing ale. All right, all good, all good. The people need ale. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm starting to drain money here though. I need to put one back in the dire workshop. Which means... <laughs> really leaning into the bees. I am not convinced that you harvest or like you do anything quicker with the bees with significantly more people. It doesn't seem like it makes a huge difference. Oh, 
Leather. Leather. Well, it. Not making ale yet. Nope. Or just buying it. Wait, why? There's still some bread to sell. Hmm. Are the fields? They're going. Looks like we're going to get most of the way there. I think one family per one Morgan field. Got to get a candle maker. I don't know. I don't know where candle maker is. I don't see candle maker. You can get wax, but I haven't upgraded to a level four house yet, so. Which I don't think is something you can do, so. I'm not sure the wax is used for anything at the moment. Oh shit, we're gonna have to pay him again. Um, and what I mean by that is... I would like to disband your... Oh, oh, good luck. And they're gone. to keep that plank production out. New families, new labor. Do I have room to add? I already added the living space there. Does that count as a house? Is that enough space? Tiny. Yeah, that can that can be another vegetable farm. Why not? Lack of entertainment. Are we running out of ale again? A classic issue. I have 52 pairs of shoes. I can trade some shoes. How about that? Why not? Let's open up the shoe trade. Why does it have 27 as the desired surplus? Like a default. What's that? Does it know something I don't? Bandits are stealing my wood? Oh, my firewood. That was rude. I mean, not a big difference, but... Oh, I'm broke. I need to make sure I'm selling. Am I out of clay now? Clay furnace! I need more production labor. Can I drop down to one? We just gotta make it to harvest season, all right? That's uh, it's always the struggle. Half of 53. I'm wondering why it defaults to that. We can get some iron slabs. They should be moving in. We have plenty of delicious foods and prosperity. We need more people. I'm still losing money.
Hmm. I'm broke. Gotta sell my tiles and... I have 98 people yet. We're up to 99. 100. Hmm. <sighs> We can build some more homes, I think, behind the church. Not every home needs to have backyard space. But I guess if you do like this size, it should be large enough. Will be the hovels for extra labor. No backyard, just labor power. Starting to make money again. I'm trading enough. I still don't understand what's happening with the Fletcher. Bit disappointed there. probably just need more settlements to be able to trade in between. I've only done one settlement, but how much influence do I need to press a claim? Like, look at this. This one also has... I want something... Look at these rich berries. Claim with influence. I need a thousand. So pretty much I have to pay tribute to the church in order to get enough influence to press a claim. Because then they say that God has chosen me to rule over these prosperous territories because of my good works, obviously. Um, something like that. One can have a backyard, I guess. It's not too far to the market that way. Now we're starting to make some money again. Need to bank up a little bit more food. So we're going to have flax, which... Flax to produce linen at the uh, Weaver Workshop. That's what we're gonna need next. I just have these various things here. We're still logging. We're still looking good over there. We've reached kind of an equilibrium of timber. Oh, the planks are still. I have two people working on it, but well, the, I do have bows. It's working. I just don't know what it's using. I have five war bows. You know what? Open up the Fletcher again, but it doesn't say what the Fletcher uses. Um... Hmm. I have 42. I only need, like, yeah, 12 is the right number. Why aren't you selling it? Iron ore. Commodities. They're not selling my shit. I don't know if there's, like, one trader coming, one going. 
Do I just need... I need another worker to bring the shit to the trading post, I think. That was the main issue. Merchant leaving. It'll be a little while. He uses planks. Oh, bows use planks. Beautiful. Let's get the string out of it. Oh, horses and mules. Will a horse help? I don't know what the horse will do. I already have plenty of up. Thing is, well, maybe, maybe they drag the carts. Because right now people are dragging the carts. Oh, wait. Huh. Oh, there's a hundred. The, tra the merchants have horses. <laughs> Maybe it creates more merchants. Okay, let's buy a horse. Sure. How goes... Were we able to... Yes. Everything was fully done. What do we have here? Not enough stable space. So it can't use the... Uh... Wow. Okay. Long buttons. Need another hitching post. Sure. only five locations left for stalls. Anyone? Where's our one construction family? Ah, uh, here we are. There you go. And there's our horse. We don't have the planks to upgrade. <laughs> We're rich. Poor quality, he said. Impossible. No. The horse pull a plow. You can have oxen essentially dedicated to the farming and all that. Most places can have a dedicated pack animal. <sighs> we gotta get to Bruin. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a malt house too. How could I forget? And then we can convert one of these into brew brewing. I need more planks. I have 17, but I'm actually going to pause the Fletcher now. No. I'm bringing all the pla- I'm using so many. Once we get rid of the berries, well, once the berries are uh, used up, we can switch it up. 
we'll keep one in the Dyer's workshop, but... We're gonna have the vegetables coming in, too. I feel like these just turn the... Like, these are now just... Gardens. Like, I don't think these people are working at anything else. They just have their own little farm here. One of them is mining. Alright. Maybe I guess you don't need everyone to work the small farms. Well, we broke slightly back. 469 wealths. I think over this next year, I can even out food production. Not, no thanks to the bandits. And then can start, like, food is the real currency. I don't think I need these two farmhouses, but there's no upkeep, so... And then with that, I can use the influence from the church to, um, press a claim on all the territories, including the ones claimed by my enemies. So it appears that having more in the trading post has has been very helpful. Been selling shoes. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get candles. Do I even have that wax? It says I have no wax, despite um, collecting it. Hmm. We're fully... Bandit camp was sighted. On the other side, there's two bandit camps. Yeah. So this will be the test. This winter. Couple more plots. Upgrade church for candles. So, I don't know what provides hallowed ground. Workers become grave diggers. So, no on that. Um, unless I need a surprising amount of. Wait, can I get multiple churches? I don't think. Image ID requirements not met. I don't think candle makers are in the game yet, necessarily. That might be it. I think you can trade for it, but... We have livestock trading. How long until harvest? 12 more days. We're growing as hard as we can. Where am I gonna pull villies off of? One of these. We're gonna drop off the clay. In fact, entirely. Woodcutter's Lodge is full of storage. Can't we stockpile it? I'm actually gonna put one person in the storehouse. In fact, and we'll add one more to the woodcutter's lodge there. Cause that, that is a logistics issue. Where else don't we need villies?
I have all these iron slabs now. I'm going to drop one from the trade post. So we're going to have flex. Let's see, bloomery, dyer's workshop, clay furnace, communal oven. Did I get the weaver's workshop? There it is. Is this facing the wrong way? No, it can go either way. Hopefully one more family will move in. And then I can do pretty much every bit of it. There's not enough ale. Do I need to import? I'm, I gotta go up to 20 ale import. All right, harvest season has begun. All right. To the mill. To the malt house. To the weaver. I need to keep one of the berries. Well, can I move this into the granary and just grab it? I'm pretty sure then they will transport from the uh, other place. It's harvest season, guys. Let's get to harvesting. We're gonna hold off the bloomery here. Stocks damaged by weather. Hurry up and harvest. We're gonna add two more families to harvest the fields. How is the plank situation? Not incredible. I'm dropping off of logs. Another family. Six families to harvest the fields quickly. They got these little hand scythes. Might need to move the uh, fire. The woodcutter's hot soon. All right, let's see. Transporting. They got some flex. Going somewhere. They're waiting over here. Yeah, yeah. Wait, harvesting. Oh. Gurhaz. Clearly well motivated harvesting the uh, vegetables. Big day. How much is left in here? Still full store. What are you doing at the granary? You have one job. What are you transporting? Oh, transporting from the vegetable gardens, I see. Ah, yes, our hero. Look who it is. He's working. He's all grown up. By the way, that was a child not long ago. And in two short years, he's now approximately 20 years older. This place ages you.
All right, I think our last action for tonight will be trying to press a claim. We're gonna drop a couple families out of the farm. I do need a brewery. Which means I need the planks. I think I gotta pause shield production for a bit. Where did my planks keep going? I know where they keep going. There's only two stall locations. Market is actually full. Crazy. This is how long it took. Even more stall. How many stalls do we need? Hopefully that's all the plank usage. So now I can finally uh, get a brewery. No, wait. That's the wrong one. Tell me we're milling. Do I still need to, like, thresh the grain? I think so. Where are we malting? They're, uh... Yeah, they're malting. We are... There's a wide array of things. Going for a drink, harvesting, peddling. I'm dropping one more family. Hmm. I'm not able to up my food. This is 100% public order. They're allowed to be drinking. All right. I'd rather. We still have plenty of homes. We built a manor. Uh, it's not a full. Like you can't really get a castle, but I haven't upgraded it very much yet because we haven't needed it. Are we making bread? We breading? We milling? They're working on it. More families. They're plowing. All right. We're making money. Enough. But the food. I guess. Okay. What kind of surplus are we looking at? I have iron slabs. How much do weapons sell for? Pole arms, side arms, war bows. War bows actually sell for a little, uh, no wait, they sell for five. Not, not eleven. And there's helmets and armor. Is this a brewery? They brewing? No, wait, no. Yep. Brewing. Nice. So maybe... Well... 
we're only importing ale, right? I'm going down to 15. Tell me we're baking. I think we're getting there. How much grade do I have in storage? Eh, I mean, we're gonna get some extra bread, but I'm gonna need more food. At this point, the ideal seems to be adding more sawmills in order to create things like shields to sell. He took my berries! I have plenty of firewood. Oh, we actually do have food. What am I saying? I just keep looking at the barrel up there and I assume it's food, but it's actually fuel. We're gonna up the tithe to 10% to generate ideally a bit more um, influence. Put one in the lumber camp. Two more in the sawmill here. Is the market full? We're gonna have to add to the market. How exciting! Okay, we don't need 51 stall locations. It took me this long to get like 18. Open for business. Can't I move the sawmills? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna move the sawmills down here. Both of them. Because we're trying to generate even more planks. In order to continue shield production, by the way. I don't think I can woodcut any harder with the camp. It's doing well enough for now. People are too approving. That means I can raise taxes. Well, you'll not find, find a bad day. anywhere else. These things do happen. Leather, leather. Saw pit done. Ah, the reason my planks weren't going up because both of my saw pits weren't, um, they weren't doing anything. Believe it or not. When are we starting the war industry? When I have enough influence with the church to make a claim on a nearby territory, which is a thousand. Oh, there's an... I never noticed people going to the tavern before somehow. Maybe I didn't have enough ale on a regular basis. I'm gonna export more shoes. Down to 20. about hides and leather we're gonna do just total goods it's all spoken for
<sighs> We're eventually gonna deforest all this. Another ruler's army was sighted. But why? Okay. Also, how do we see it over there? Hmm. More family. Maybe we add a little bit more forestry. Sure. Otherwise, we can't keep up with the rates. I'm up to 22 planks now. Are we baking? Or are we out of grain already? Oh yeah, they still have some grain. What are they doing? They're going for a drink. Yeah, now that winter has come. There's no point in having so many farmers. My berries! I have 68 eggs. That's a lot of eggs. You know, why not? Why not more chicken coops? So this is a cobbler, a joiner, which is for the shields and such. Fletcher, brewery. This one needs to be upgraded. This will be my market row. I'm just gonna upgrade both those. And then the rest, back to chicken coops. So I gotta... <laughs> That's where most of my food is. Honestly, maybe some more goats. Why is the influence taking so long? <laughs> Can I bring the bowyers back? Yes, the Fletcher. <laughs> the brewery is continuing. I had to pay for that ale. So it appears. Oh, I don't want to take more away from the regional wealth. Step right up and sample. Yo. Oh, he's fighting the bandit camps. The influence is going up so slow. Go kill bandits. They're so far away. There's no camps on my side. Like, I guess... Oh, he's he's taking it. You know what? Maybe he's got the right of it. I guess I just gotta keep giving food to the church. My best bet. You know what? More eggs. Worst case scenario. I'm gonna work my way down the eggs here. Another chicken coop. Aggressive chicken croup ad croup addition. Can just start exporting. We'll see. Still making money. What else can I build these into? There's the tailor. Do I have enough linen? Maybe. I'll try it. And then we're working on level two on that one.
And I don't know how to recruit... Oh. What? <laughs> what? Who is this dude? Um... Wait, this is my retinue. Afraid of horses. Never stays in one place for long. Hunting and tracking animals. I don't know if these are just flavor or actually relevant. These are my boys. A master of chess. Fritz over here. Has great eyesight and can even hit, hit even a small target. And you can customize each of their... Work in pro So each of them apparently have... Promote. Recruit man-at-arms. Cost 50. Pay from your treasury to hire a retainer. Now, does that mean... I'm gonna look up for the raid. Hopefully you had a good stream. Recruiting new people all over the place. But... I don't know if I have to pay a salary. I don't want to pay a salary. Pay the full price to import the armor set. So, for eight? Alright. Damn. And then, of course, you can change the color scheme. Ah, uh, the red knight here. I don't know why the color... Can I... Oh, I can just change the look, obviously. More customization than chivalry. For my boys. Oh, uh, you gotta see his face. He has an intense expression. I don't think the weapon choice matters. It's just a stat, but what one? Yeah. There's only two. My loyal retainer. Do I need to? I need to work out all the boys. All right. Fritz. Yes, yes. Full armor set for you. We're not gonna do the colors, but... <laughs> Afraid of horses. <laughs> Power stance. Um... Got them all kitted out. Yeah, we'll just intimidate them. How to make it armor and army without paying mercs. My village burned to the ground. Um, I've just paid the mercs. But the militia with weapons, uh, you either trade or build. Like, I'm building uh, shields at the joiner shop. Which, I'd build the large shields if I actually wanted to equip the militia, but... And then... Like, uh... Wait, can I actually equip some archers, maybe? From the militia? I have 14 bows, so technically I could bring them... Um... With the, uh... Any other units that I had. But... I find just paying the mercenaries is usually easier. They usually bring their own gear. Where are they? They're just on the other side. Are you your boys to hold the front. I just need to find someone to fight. I got nobody to fight right now. I can't even, like, I can, I can't even be like, hey, bro. You know what I want to do? War surprise. Wait, can I war surprise? Oh. Oh, I don't have enough negative. War surprise. Oh, shit. Well. Okay, well, war it is. 
Uh, war surprise. Um, yes, obviously. A new message. All right. If you drop all your claims. Wait, it cost me 500 influence to war surprise. Oh, my influence. I was saving up for the claims. War it is. I don't know what I'm going to do about the war. I assume he attacks me and then I gain influence because of my glorious victories in battle. We're going to raise taxes because of the war, though. Obviously, it only makes sense. Um... Ah, yes, the Battle Brothers, yet again. I'll pay him. Welcome. They're gonna be hanging out again. New mercs available? Mm. So those will arrive... I know they have armies. Ah, you know, let's try that. Okay, so they have armies in that same area. So. Nursery company hired. So. There's a chance. Yeah, I noticed this before. Is somewhat awkwardly. Um. Yeah, they spotted the same location. Shoot him in the face! Are they all archers? Retreat! You guys can fire at will. They're point blank range, so... Victory! Well... Not exactly sure what else to do with my units now. Because, uh... They're, they don't have a town to pillage at this stage of the development. So, um... I thought this was a city builder. It is a city builder. But you have to defend your cities. Are there any other bandit camps I can deal with? It is a bit awkward that I can't even... Like, I have the only forces... Wait, where did my... Where did the other forces go? Where did these guys go? Where are you at? They're off the map! That's well, not ideal. Um... I could just disband them, I guess. They ran off the map after victory. Alright. I don't know where they went. Oh. Here they are. So heavy mercenary and light mercenary archers. But is there any purpose to their existence? So, ideally, at some point, my opponent will have a town I can burn. Or pillage, or take over, whatever. But, uh, at this stage, that is not the case. I think in the our next episode, we may need to play through the battle, the one, the on-the-edge scenario, where at least, like, I think there are some combat mechanics that I'm definitely not seeing. There's, like, flanking and, uh, the morale and all that, like, Total War style. 
it's just so far it's been like one one unit against one unit or two make it sure i may withdraw them for such a price peace for the correct fee all right disband the mercs though i could wait 20 days just in case but i can i can lower taxes again the war is over we won guys approval should go through the roof can steal bandit supplies there's no bandit camps they're all gone I think we're at that stage where it's like, like we're running up the uh, against the kind of bare bones AI at the moment. Like the the city builder aspect looks great. Um, but there's no enough to fight until I get enough influence. I'm gonna up the tithe to the church and see, like up to like twenty percent here. I guess you could get to a point where you trade enough and then you get a bunch of food from trade. And then you can send that to the church for enough influence to press your claims. Because I can't even build a settlement in another zone unless I claimed it, right? Like, no. I'm wondering if I'm missing any significant part of the loop here. Because right now, like, I have some industry that I haven't yet really utilized but i have most of the farms i have trade of several things i can hire mercenaries or equip militias i haven't built up a ton of the castle stuff like i could uh How is it one guy designed a better walling, like a natural walling system, than... No, 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 don't do it. Just don't. Just don't make yourself upset. There doesn't have to be a gate. Oh, 44 planks! Something, something, AoE4. But. Level 3 house upgrade or level 2? Yeah, there's only up to level 3 so far. Oh, yeah. I think we are going to leave it there for tonight, though. As the town has survived yet another winter, is thriving. We've gotten most of the tech there. And I think the next time you see it, I'll be playing the more combat-oriented scenario, is the plan. Um, so hopefully... Because I think a lot of people will, one, are either better at or more interested in the city builder aspect. But the combat actually does look quite interesting and well done. Like, the fighting, it's a little janky when you zoom in, but a lot less so than many, many games I've seen. Whatever is this game, I'm gonna get it just because of the soundtrack. Yeah, why is the soundtrack so good? I assume that's outsourced and not like him tooling around with it, but it's still very, very good. Like, <laughs> notice how I'm still playing the soundtrack after over like 10 hours of playing, which is quite rare uh, in most games, especially builder games that eventually at some point. But. Yeah. I mean, a little depressing in winter, but... Leads farms to more warfare. But you can adjust a lot of the uh, settings at the start. I may just need to adjust it upwards heavily, right? So... Like, I'm on default, which most people... Like, it's City Builder first. It's uh, RTS second. But... Like, a pretty distant second, too. But... It's chill, except when it's not. During, like, the harvest season and all that. Even, they even got, like, snow on their clothes and stuff.
But yeah, thank you to uh, Hooded Horse again for sending me a key. I mean, I don't even know that. It's odd. I wonder if they're trying to see how much they can get away with on the price. You know what? I would say up to 40 bucks. 40 bucks would probably be the, the upper end. But like, if it's like 30 or 35, that seems about right for where it is right now. Um, I would say that's kind of a steal at, at like 30 or less. And they'll probably have a sale and stuff when it comes out. So. But yeah, well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope I made your day a little bit better. Um, the game releases... Yeah, I feel like they gave the streamers early access way too early. In my opinion, it should have been like... At most a week. This is way too many days ahead. Um, especially for this sort of game, like a PvE game. Like, gonna... But... Because you have all the YouTubers like, here's how you do the the exploits that ruin the fun parts of the game. Um, so even though I'm a hypocrite in playing it there, I do think that was a mistake. Um, but um, streamers ruin everything, don't they? Like and subscribe if you agree. And check out my next video to find out more about Manor Lords next time. Good luck, have fun. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Stay chill.